Hello, this is Tom from Never Center. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you CameraBag's light leak adjustment. Um, as of CameraBag 3.1, this adjustment has been um, added to the photographic section. Uh, this was actually brought back from CameraBag version 2. Um, you could always load it from a saved filter made in CameraBag 2 if you were using CameraBag Photo uh, version 3. But um, we just recently, as of uh, version 3.1, brought it back into the interface and put it right here. Um, and what LightLeak does is it, it simulates an error, basically, in uh, classic photography that happens when there's a little crack somewhere in your old film camera body where a little bit of light gets in um, where it's not supposed to. And um, it exposes the film and it gives it these, these colorful flares in unexpected places. Um, now, one thing to note is that camera bag, uh, camera bag photos light leak is not based on an image overlay uh, like a lot of other sort of cheesy apps do where they'll just have like, you know, a few preset images that uh, you basically reuse that same light leak overlay over and over again. Um, camera bags is generated algorithmically, so there's, there's an infinite uh, variation possible. Um, as you go through these, you know, you tweak the algorithm basically by adjusting this slider. So this slider that I'm adjusting is called Remix. Um, and uh, like I said, basically it slightly tweaks the algorithm that we programmed um, to just adjust the parameters that uh, you can see it changes the color and it changes the placement. And um, you can uh, just slide this slider. I'm just scrolling with my uh, trackpad here to adjust the, this remix amount. Um, and you can just slide it till you find a, a variant that you like. Um, one way that I often use it is I'll just click on the side of the slider and you can just sort of click over and over again because this is um, adjusting the slider by a, a larger amount. And I saw one a couple of clicks ago that I liked. So I just hit undo to go back to that one. You can just explore and um, you, as you keep going, you just will never get a, a duplicate of something you saw before unless you go back to that exact same number on this slider. And so actually, I know that I, I really like the light leaks right around 400. Um, and so I can reuse those if I want by just typing in that number here and then positioning it where I like it. Um, now, uh, because of how camera bag is set up, if you want, you can even layer multiple light leaks. So I've got one right here. If I just click again on this, this will layer a second one on there. And as I adjust this one, so um, it's keeping that original one that I've gotten so I can toggle each of these on and off. You can see this one's got these purpley ones and then this one's got that orange. And so if you want to go crazy, you can layer multiple ones of these. Um, and uh, these work generally, um, the, the, where they tended to show up in classic photography was when you're in very sunny places. So they sort of seem to naturally fit in with photos at like a beach or in summertime. So that's why I've used this photo here. Um, and they tend to look really great with some of the, uh, the vintage um, emulations that we have built in. So I'm going to pin this by hitting that pin button uh, icon right there. And then um, I'll go into my filter choosers and uh, I've just got the classic photography section expanded here. Since I pinned it, it's layering it on all these. And um, like if I choose one of these uh, instant camera ones, let's go with instant one. Um, you can see without the light leak and then with the light leak. And I can also move it if I want to before or after or anywhere in the middle of this filter and just sort of see where it looks most natural. I think I like it at the very beginning. And then I can tweak it more and find it just where I want it. Um, you can end up with some really cool looks that um, while it's you know it's emulating these film styles, it's it's not again based on cheesy overlay images, so it has some real um, randomness and warmth to it that you won't find in a lot of other apps. Uh, so like I said, it's in camera bag 3.1. Thanks.